Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be looking at the ESP software, and we're going to be learning how to customize our tuning pages. We're also going to be taking a look at some of the channels that I like to be looking at when I'm getting engines up and running. Because every single setup's different, we're never quite sure how to set the software up for all of the sensors that you might want to be looking at. For example, you might have oil and fuel pressure sensors in your setup, Well, the next person might have exhaust gas temperature or exhaust back pressure sensors. So it's best if you customise your tuning screens for the setup that you're using. To create a custom tuning screen, you can do it in online or offline mode. So that means that you don't actually need to have a Haltech ECU connected to your car or to a power supply in order to make your custom tuning screens. So the first thing that I've got here, I'm just going to open a base map so that I've got something open. Then I'm going to right click in one of these tabs in the top of the screen and go create new page. I'm going to call this engine start. Now we've got customize your tuning pages written across the top of the screen. I'm going to right click and bring up three list displays. Now, this is the way that I like to display the data. Lots of people do it lots of different ways, but if I just show you this way, I'll also show you the channels that I like to have a little bit of a look at when I'm trying to get an engine started and running. You might want to use this way and then you might want to adapt it or change a little bit to suit whatever you like. So I've got my three list channels open here. If I just right click in the first one, select channels, I've got a huge list of all of the options available in the ECU. The first one, I'm just gonna bring across all of the calibrated inputs. So this is our air temp, coolant temp, throttle position, manifold pressure, battery voltage. So all of the sensors that are coming into the Haltech. So I'll have a bit of a look at all those, make sure all those values read correctly, which they all do, so that's perfect. The next list display, I'm going to have a look at all of the trigger diagnostics. So I'm going to use the search feature in the top of the page. I'm going to type in trigger. I'm going to highlight all of our trigger information. I'm also going to search for home or cam sensor. So that way on one page, I've got all of the trigger information. With the third list display, I'm just going to right click inside there, select channels. I want to look at the ignition output, so I want to see what the ignition angle is that the ECU is firing at. And I also want to have a look, so I'm going to search for injector 1, and I'm going to have a bit of a look at what injector 1 duty cycle and the injector 1 time. Now, with the data that I've got in front of me, I can see all the engine sensors, I can see the trigger synchronization level, which is very important to make sure our trigger system's working correctly. And I can also see our injector one output and our ignition one output, so I know the injector duty cycle and the ignition angle. Keep in mind that we can also rename our lists. So all we need to do is just go up to the top of the page here, right click, rename. We might want to call this first one, say sensors, for example. The second list might be triggers. And the third one, we might call outputs. Now, don't think we can only just do lists in this page. If we right click in a blank area of the background, we've got a bunch of different things that we can choose from 2D views, 3D views, bar gauges, uh, number displays, text views, and trace views. So we can go through all of these different styles of display in order to tune our Elite Series ECU. So to summarize the use of the ESP software, you can either go online or you can do it in offline mode by loading a base map. We go to the right hand side of the screen, we right click and create a new page. We can call that page whatever we like. Once we've got that page, we can right click inside that page and select a number display or a list display like we've spoken about. We right click inside the list display, select channels, and then we choose all the channels that you'd like to see in that ESP setup. If you've learned something from this ESP software tip and you don't want to miss out on any others, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. 
As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.